What's going on YouTube? Sean back with another pirate mod video and today I just wanted to go over a little workaround I found for the uh, GeForce experience slash shadow play problem that's been going on with the black screen recording. I'm not really sure if this is a problem in shadow play or with uh, like the Windows uh, media player or whatever. Uh, but it's been bugging me and I've lit, did some searching around online and it's been a problem for other people as well. So I kind of wanted to make a video to show a workaround on how to get your videos to work. Now, when you, when you do the shadow play record, it uh, comes out as just a black screen, but you can still hear audio. Now, I saw somebody post something on uh, YouTube that said that uh, if you upload that video that just shows the black screen up to YouTube, it'll, it'll upload just fine and you'll be able to watch it on YouTube. The only problem with that is you can't really edit the video before you post it or anything. So that didn't sound like a very good option for me. So I did some more searching around and I found this uh, program called VL Media Player. VLC Media Player, rather, and it's at www.videoland.org. And this program seems to be able to open the videos just fine, and you can also use it to convert it. So let me show you kind of what's going on. So this video is a little test video I recorded um, of some gameplay that I did. So I'll just go ahead and start this, and I'll let you see what the problem is. I hope you have a good view of the Rue 47, your main target. So as you can see, it was just a black screen. You can hear some audio in the background and everything. So the audio is working. The, it's just the way that the, the Windows Media Player is, is encoding it or something. It, it's not really working good. So I tried to do some research on how to update the codecs for Windows Media Player and couldn't really figure it out. So I found that other alternative, which is this VLC Media Player. So once you download the VLC Media Player, you can go ahead and get started and it's actually really simple so I've already downloaded and installed the program so I'll go ahead and open it up and I'll show you what I did so you go to media open file find the file you want to open so this is the one I was working with we can go ahead and open that I hope you and as you can see we can see the video and hear the audio so let me just go ahead and pause that and I'll show you what I did to get it to work. Uh, this program has a convert function. So we can go ahead and add that video to, to the convert. Hit convert slash save. Um, you can choose what kind of output you want and they've got several to choose from. Uh, the only problem I found with this is for some reason the um, audio is not working properly. I found a video uh, that showed how to check this to be sure it co was compatible with the audio from the video that you previously recorded but I couldn't get it to work. I think there's a bug in the program and I just couldn't figure it out but there is a, a still a way to get the audio into your videos and it's a little bit of a hassle but at least it works. So I'll go ahead and convert this. You just need to choose your destination file. And uh, I'll go ahead and browse. I'm going to put it in the same place. And I'm just going to call this Hitman. And then save it. And then hit start to start the conversion. And as you can see, it's going through the conversion right now. And it'll take a few seconds to get this done. Once it's done, I'll go ahead and start the video to show it, and you'll notice there won't be any audio at all. It'll just be the video. So what we have to do is do this over again, but instead of choosing like H.264, we can choose like a WAV file and just get the audio in there. So it's done. I can close this program now, and I can go ahead and open up my location, and you can see the video is here and works perfectly with the Windows media player but there's no audio so let's go ahead and close that 
and we are going to do the exact same thing again to, to grab the audio file. So we open up the VLC media player again, open up the file. I hope you have a good view of the roof 47. And then we can convert it again just the same way. Now I'm sure there's probably an easier way to do this, but I did mess around with it for a couple hours. Wasn't able to figure it out. So uh, I found this way and it seemed to work and it was a lot quicker than me trying to uh, mess with all the settings and, and try to find the right codec and all this other stuff. So this is what I did. So instead of video here, let's go ahead and choose audio mp3. Let's browse to the location. And I'm going to put this as um, Audio Hitman. We can save it. We can start the conversion. And this should go pretty quick. We can close this file up now. Open it back up again. And you can see the MP3 file here for the audio. And then what we need to do is I use uh, Windows Movie Maker for mine. If you have another program, then you may not even have to worry about this. But for some reason, Windows Movie Maker wasn't working with this. And this is the only thing I have and what I'm used to using. So this is what I'll do. So I'll add the video. And let's go back to the video that we have. So here's the video. Go ahead and open it up. It will do its processing to process the video. And then what we can do is add the sound to it. So it's done now. We can add the sound. We can go to, let's see if I can remember how to do this. I think it's just add uh, music. We can choose the location and I think that was here choose this one open it and now if we play it we should be able to see the video and hear the audio so I do hear some audio in there so Let's go ahead and close this out and then we can save it and save movie as, let's just do this. Let's go ahead and put it in my same folder and I'll just call it Hitman Movie. And hit save. It will save this video and then we should be good to go. So this program works pretty good for me and uh, I think that if I mess with it a little bit more I, w I should be able to find out uh, the proper uh, settings to use to get the codecs to work and everything. So I, hope you have a good view of the I will go ahead and stop the video here and I hope this was helpful for you. Uh, if, if you like, give me a like, uh, possibly subscribe. Uh, this isn't my normal type of video, but uh, maybe do some more gaming style videos in the future. Uh, but my, my normal content would be like PC modding and builds and stuff like that. So if you're into that kind of thing, give me a, sub, uh, a subscribe and uh, we'll see you later. Thanks for watching.